Hi guys, Wu Tang Chicken here. We are uh, doing a let's check out the uh, Minecraft Skyrim mashup. This one actually came out uh, way earlier than the Halo mashup, but due to editing issues, it's not coming out until now. This one was an absolute nightmare to uh, edit. I don't know, I think it was cursed. I think it didn't want to come out, but screw it. We're pushing ahead. We're going to, uh, we're going to release it and it's gonna be awesome and screw everybody who doesn't like it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, so they completely recreated three big parts of the, uh, three big early parts of uh, the Skyrim overworld here in this Minecraft map, uh, including Riverwood, which we are looking at right now, um, Bleak Falls Barrow, which is uh, one of the first big dungeons in the game and one of the ones where you're, or the one where you're supposed to get your very first um, dragon word or whatever it's called um, and uh, white run the big main I would call it the hub city in uh, uh, this game uh, it's a really cool really lovingly recreated um, world here as you can see it's full of all sorts of little awesome Easter eggs and whatnot and a lot of the uh, a lot of the interiors of the buildings are lovingly recreated here. They couldn't do them all, and they couldn't do them all perfectly, but I don't blame them taking something as, as intricate and rich and complicated as the uh, Skyrim world and uh, putting it into a Minecraft map is an awesome feat in and of itself, as I'm sure many Let's Players and YouTubers can tell you. I'm sure there's a million Skyrim worlds that have been lovingly recreated on the PC version, but uh, they were nice enough to release one for us to play with here on the Xbox version, and I'm sure you can get it on the PS3 as well, although I'm sure someone in the comments is screaming at me right now about how wrong I am. Uh, you saw River Riverwood right there. It looked really well, and now we're moving on to Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, this was a really, really cool uh, area that they recreated. They couldn't create the interior as well as I think they wanted to. Then again, I think the majority of the dungeons in Minecraft, or in Skyrim, excuse me, uh, exist in impossible space, so you would have seen corridors and all sorts of crazy nonsense jutting out in every direction here. Understandable that they didn't do that. They wanted to really uh, uh, showcase the exteriors of these uh, areas more than the interiors. And the exteriors look great, don't get me wrong. Um, I remember the first time I went through this area, I had no idea what I was doing. I was super underleveled, running around with sword and board um, in the middle of the night, just getting... Uh, destroyed by the bandits inside I don't think the uh, I don't think the skeletons on the outside were too bad um, this uh, it, this these uh, recreations have gotten the uh, the normal Minecraft uh, Mojang and 4j uh, treatments here uh, with any Skyrim world that, or with any Minecraft world that they release um, it has uh, a bunch of uh, little hidden items floating around in the in the world a bunch of hidden Easter eggs one of which you'll see later which is really cool uh, the music discs to find and all sorts of other stuff uh, there was Bleak Falls Barrow as much of the interior as they created now we're moving on to the town of Whiterun um, this one uh, this one got the full treatment here this is I wouldn't say brick for brick accurate but it is a gigantic faithful recreation of the town of White Run to include it includes every single building the interiors are fleshed out in the majority of them um, Dragon's Reach is uh, built up pretty well the inside the top floor of Jorvasker the uh, the mead hall where the companions uh, operate out of is uh, recreated it's a really really cool setup uh, the temple of uh, Kinnereth or Mara, I can't remember which one the temple is here in this uh, in this city here. Uh, the big tree, the sister to the Gilder Green, I think it's called. I'm sure someone in the comments is screaming at me again. Uh, there's where Heimsker yells at you about racism and worshipping uh, the, the dragon devil, blah, 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 blah. Um, here's the entrance here we're running up in. I'm sure many of us watching this video have made this trek a billion times either by creating new characters or having to run in and out of the city without fast travel um 
Here's uh, here's the blacksmith shop with all the blacksmithing stuff outside, including a furnace. It's a really really cool recreation, and they put they put a lot of love into this. I'm re I'm really glad that they're releasing stuff like this. Um, they knocked it out of the park with this one and the uh, with the Halo mashup, and I really hope that they release more because. Uh, uh, I'm pretty creative, I think, in my Minecraft world, but uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to lovingly recreate the brutal murder there. Uh, no, I'm not lovingly trying to recreate um, worlds in other video games, brick for brick, like they are here. So the fact that they're releasing them for us to just go nuts in and play with, and then have the uh, have the uh, the texture pack for uh, when we want to do our own Skyrim stuff is really cool that they're that they're they're doing this for us. So I mean, big props to Mojang and 4J for uh, creating this and releasing it. And I mean, it's just an awesome setup. We got the inside of the inn here. No uh, angry females to fist fight or anything like that. No uh, no bards to uh, pay to sing dumb songs, whatever. Um, this is also, it comes along with uh, awesome textures for weapons, etc. As you can see, I'm holding an obsidian sword there, and they actually do a good job modeling the, uh, the armor types as well. I don't know if I was wearing obsidian armor here, but uh, you'll never see my character in this video, I think. But uh, they have the elvish, the obsidian, they have glass armor, um, and I think they have dwarven armor as well, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, here's one of the Easter eggs I was talking about underneath the Skyforge, the uh, ritual chamber where you can become a werewolf if you want. Mild spoilers, I'm sure you've all seen it on the internet a million times by now. Um, the buggy ass, uh, that should be blood. The buggy ass werewolf bullshit that you can do. Um, yeah, it's really cool, uh, Skyforge here. They've got, uh... I think they released uh, maybe 30 to 50 skins for uh, for this uh, uh, texture pack, this mashup that they did, and they're all pretty cool, including male and female dragonborns. You can be uh, enemies, you can be undead, you can be some of the characters from the game. I like running around as Isran, the uh, vampire hunter from the Dawnguard expansion pack. Um, obviously they've got expansion pack stuff in there as well. Nothing really from the world, but uh, that's fine. They did so much here to begin with. Uh, here we are coming up to Dragon's Reach. As you can see, they, uh, they did a, a really cool recreation of it here. The inside isn't perfect, but um, the outside looks fan friggin tastic from every angle. Uh, here we are running up to the... Uh, oh, there's Isran. Yay! We get to see a, a person. Anyways, um... Here we are, we get to run up to the front. Normally you'd run into a million guards talking about arrows in their knees here. Uh, that's where the meme came from. They're in your memes. Uh, here we go to the inside of uh, Dragon's Reach. It looks pretty good. It looks It's a pretty good recreation. Um, there's no, uh, no giant uh, uh, tables full of food for the Skyrim drunk to run across and uh, knock all the food off or throw up on or anything. Uh, big fire in the middle there. It looks really good. It looks really good. They did a really good job um, really recreating the feel of uh, Skyrim in Minecraft. Um, on top of that, they also did, uh, they got a lot of the, uh, the songs from the game. There's a really good score running through the Minecraft mashup. So um, if you like Skyrim music, you won't be disappointed here. This uh, uh, mashup is full of it. Um... Let's see, what else did they put in there? Uh, no dragons, as far as I've seen, unfortunately. I haven't been able to get to the end in this world yet, but uh, I'll let you know if it is awesome. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. There we go, I'm killing a guy. I think we're going to look at the... Uh, we're going to look at some enemies here in a moment after I uh, brutally end my life trying to escape the guards for murdering that man. Here we go. Uh, 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 wee and death. Okay, here's some of the enemies here. Uh, they recreated Draugr, Skeletons, um, uh, San or, uh, the Crabs. I can't remember what they're called right now because I'm an idiot. Uh, there's an Enderman as a Draugr. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, YouTube.com, Wu-Tang Chicken. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.